For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to uh, come to this conclusion if y is a function of x, we have to follow these three steps at the bottom. All right, so the first thing is to solve the equation for y. Now, nicely, this equation is already solved for y, so we really don't have to do anything, right? It's just y is equal to x squared, okay? The next step would then be to graph this particular function. All right, so you can throw that into your graphing calculator if you like. Um, but what we do realize is we also know that this is basically a quadratic function. All right, so that might be easy to uh, remember. Now, when we graph this function, it'll look something like this. Right? It'll look something like that. Let me make that actually a little neater. There you go. So it'll look something like this, okay? And it's going to continue on forever in both directions. All right, so now that we have the graph drawn, the next step will be to conduct the vertical line test. Now the vertical line test is a test, right, that says that if a vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, then the graph you drew is indeed a function. So what we like to do is think, if I draw a vertical line here, how many times does that vertical line intersect my red graph? Well, it only intersects it in one spot. How about here? One spot. How about here? One spot. That vertical line will never intersect this graph more in more than one spot. And therefore, this is indeed a function. Okay, that's the whole point of the vertical line test. It's to tell whether the graph is a function or not. Very easy, it's, you can see it in terms of uh, a picture. I think that makes it a lot simpler. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next question. Take care.